Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Achua and I hope this video finds you well. If you are new to this place, please consider subscribing. And to all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support and welcome back. This is going to be an updated top 10 Latafa list. I think the first and only time I did a top 10 list was way back in August 2022 when my channel was quite new. So I think it's time for an update, I guess. What I'm going to do is to compare the fragrances that made my top 10 Latafes in August 2022 as compared to the top 10 Latafes in May 2024. Three fragrances from the older list, you know, made it to the current list just because I love those fragrances. They are not going anywhere. I think if I do like a top 10 Latafa list in the next five years, I probably will have like two or three of those you know, older fragrances still on that list. So on the older list, we had Kaid. We also had camera there was faka rose there was Assad, there was good for glory there was amethyst there was opulate mask there was amir Aoud intense there was ajwad and then my hair black edition at my current 10th position is a fragrance which was also in the previous list and this is going to be amethyst this fragrance has served me so well, you know, there's no way I can abandon this one, you know, although I have come across a lot of, you know, newer fragrances that I love and appreciate, but there is something special about Amethyst that I keep going back to it. It's been a minute since I, you know, utilized this, but I still have it at heart. I still will highly recommend it. It is a very beautiful oud rose bergamot scent. It feels quite sweet, quite skunky, a little funk with a banyardy touch to it, with that oud, with the roses, very beautiful, quite unisex, you know, but also a little feminine leaning to me. This fragrance has served me so well. I've got a lot of compliments wearing amethyst. It lasts me like a day and a half. It is super long lasting. The scent can be a little polarizing, not to me, no, but to others who have no claimed it is quite polarizing to them. To me, after all the so many new releases by Latafa, I still find amethyst as a very great fragrance. At the ninth position is a fragrance I will not describe as me per se. However, there is something about Liam Gray that I find quite endearing. It relaxes me. It makes me feel cozy. It is not like my go-to scent at all. I don't necessarily wear this one outside. I wear it indoors just for the cozy warmth and feel that relaxing spa-like, you know, black tea, thick, aquatic sort of, you know, um, relaxing vibe it gives me. It is not something I'll say for special occasions. No, it doesn't give me that vibes at all. However, there is something about this fragrance that I feel quite relaxing. And for that alone, I think it deserves to be on this list. So at number nine is going to be Liam Gray. Another repeat from the previous list is going to be Assad. I still enjoy this fragrance. I love it on me, but most especially on men. Anytime I smell this on a man, I compliment them. Someone might even argue that this is so common. Everybody, you know, wears it, but that is not my problem. Anytime I wear this, although nowadays, because of my, you know, larger, you know, growing collection, I really hardly reach out for some of these fragrances. I still enjoy the scent profile. I will recommend it to any man looking for something quite, you know, simple for every day. I also recommend it for women who are into unisex fragrances. It is phenomenal it is bright uplifting a great everyday scent for the office and the prizes is to die for so aside for number eight number seven is going to be maya and i like this simply because it's very playful very cheerful very delightful also very you know girly for people who are not into unisex fragrances i think maya is a great alternative it is sparkling it is cheerful it is delightful refreshing beautiful sweet tart berries a very girly womanly feminine you know everyday sort of fragrance in my opinion it is still a laugh for me. So that is going to be Maya at number seven. Number six is going to be Caltat Royal Blends, which I feel is so underrated. It looks like not a lot of people are into this, but to me, it's one of the best Latafa fragrances for the prices that they are charging currently under $20. You cannot beat this one, honestly. What you are going to get from this is a sweet, spicy, woody fruit. Also quite spicy and the base being a little woody. To me, I think it gets woodier with time. From my experience, this one has gotten a little woody, but it's nothing that you cannot pull off as a woman. It's still a very unisex, you know, um, leaning fragrance in my opinion. I don't consider this as 
ultra feminine. I think it is like super unisex in my opinion because of that woody base. This fragrance smells different anytime I wear. Sometimes I get something much more fruity. Other times I get something much more woody. Sometimes I also get something like a very refined honey nuance in it. It is quite simple yet also a little intricate, you know, in so many aspects. And it's a very beautiful, fruity, woody, spicy, you know, fragrance for the most part. So at number six is Kaltat Royal Blends. Another fragrance which made it from the previous list to the current list is going to be Kaid. This is going to be a timeless classic Latafa fragrance. I can't seem to utilize this currently, but I still cannot get rid of it. You know, there's no way I'm getting rid of Kaid. I hardly wear it these days, you know, but it's a masterpiece. I would highly recommend. It is a unisex, you know, masculine leaning fragrance in my opinion. For women, when you layer this with other vanilla fragrances, it is so delectable. It gives a very gourmand vibe because it already has some vanilla, some, I think, cardamom, some leather, you know, but the leather is not prominent at all. A very wearable, well done leather those cardamom spices vanilla very beautiful honestly i don't see myself finishing this bottle anytime soon you know just because i have so many other fragrances and i'm constantly testing other things a lot of latafa fragrances have come and quietly gone but for me kaid is still standing and i would like to forever have it in my collection so as number five is going to be kaid on the previous list, I had the OG camera, but on this list, it's been replaced with the Kawa version. This is a slightly boozy date and coffee scent. A very sexy, sweet, powerful fragrance in my opinion. Yes, I know it is quite saturated on the market. Everybody seems to be smelling of camera in the Kawa, but to me, it is still quite a staple in my collection. I utilize this fragrance. I layer it. I wear it on its own. I love the beautiful Kawa in this one. You know, that is what makes the difference in this fragrance for me. You know, that Kawa, that slight touch of coffee in this one is so beautiful, delectable, gourmand, spicy, sexy, sweet to me and i love it i refer to each house you go as a heart attack fragrance it snatches your soul it is not for everybody and i keep saying this all the time whenever i mention each house you go then people are quite negative about it you know i try to ignore it can that argument rest just because i like it doesn't mean you should you know you can hate it i will love it Vice versa, I like this one. I love it. You know, I simply adore Isha Shiv Gold. It is polarizing to others. To me, it is phenomenal. It is excellent. It is my heart attack. When I want to snatch someone's soul, I go for something like this. It gives me the compliments. I get the potency, the longevity. Great back for your money. Very inexpensive. There is nothing that I hate about this fragrance. So it's going to be at my number three. Is this fragrance Majazi or Mazaji? I have no idea. Someone tried to correct me in one of my previous videos. I don't know how it is pronounced. What I know is that I love this fragrance. It gives me very, you know, light, airy spring vibes. There is something ultra feminine about this fragrance that gives me a sensuality to it. Very romantic. It doesn't give me anything sexy. I love it for the fact that it's quite different from a lot of fragrances that I have in my collection. It gives me something much more feminine, very, you know, um, light, airy, womanly, romantic, church vibes. It doesn't give me anything in your face i'm coming for you i sometimes get tired of that and i want something quite muted and this is phenomenal and it had to be at my number two my number two out of my top 10 latifa fragrances this is a love for me honestly it is quite a simple bubbly sparkling floral very different from the norm for me but i still love it and had to be at my number two and my current number one latifa has to be with dane what is to hate about this fragrance? Tell me, is it a spice? Is it that leather, that animalic accord, that smoky, slight smoky, sexy nuance it has in it? What is to hate about this? Honestly, have you tried it? Please get your notes on this one, you know. It is not going to be for everybody. It is for people like me who have, you know, come to appreciate much more stronger, sweet, animalic, you know, Middle Eastern Oriental style fragrances. Yes, it is spicy, but it's also very sweet, black tie, very potent, you no know, compliment magnet in my opinion. Just give it a try. You might be surprised by how much you would love it, you know. So don't be scared about the fact that it's been described as animalic, leather, wood, spice, you know. Forget about all those things. The reality is that in real life, it doesn't overwhelm you in any way. It is a very 
excellent blend, very smooth, one of the best woody fragrances or woody woody fragrances I have ever come across. So currently, Wooden by Latafa is my number one Latafa fragrance. From my previous list, these were the three that's made it to my current list, you know, and the rest, I think I've decluttered some. I gave some to my friends. Some people requested them of me, but I still love those fragrances, you know. I wish others could have made it on this list, but this is a top 10, so I'll just stick to that. That is all I have for you today, and I hope this video found you well. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up, and I hope to see you in my next one. Take care. Bye-bye.